When I was young, I read a series of books, and I know that you know them, from J.R.R. Tolkien, The Lord of the Rings. I still do read them occasionally. They're just something from my childhood I really liked. Anyway, there was a saying by one of the hobbits one time. Basically, he said, as they were going to take a shortcut, shortcuts make for long delays. Not these shortcuts. Shortcuts in Adobe Photoshop, or in any application for that matter, are designed to help you out. University study conducted over two years show that if you use shortcuts, you save one hour out of every eight. We consume, according to that study, one hour out of the day, I won't say wasting time, but spending time using shortcut keys. So learning them and understanding them is an important thing to do. For example, we can come up here to the word file and go down and there's all the shortcuts and all the different things that we can do. If we say control N, we're actually opening a file. But you say, okay, if I use the shortcut control N, or if I come up to the word file and click new, what am I saving? Five seconds? Well, it's true. Probably about five of that. But at the end of the day, we're going to save, according to studies, about an hour out of every eight. So let's do this. Go up to the word edit on the pull down menu and go down to keyboard shortcuts. In keyboard shortcuts, you have application menus, panel menus, tools. Let's stay here because that's pretty familiar. If we go into, say, for example, file, there's the control N for new, there's open with control O. In the previous lesson, I kind of mentioned to you that I try to get my students away from using open from the pull down menu in favor of bridge because I think it's a better place to go. So I remove it, and this is the last lesson, I remove open from the pull down menu. Now we can do that right here if you click menus. And I can go into file here. We already did this once. And I can say, OK, don't show open in the pull down menu. But the problem is, my students still know there's a shortcut for it. And the shortcut is Control O. And just because you don't see it in the menu doesn't mean you can't get it if you know the shortcut. And everybody knows that one. So we could do something like this. I'm not recommending it, I'm just saying you could. I like to use the mini bridge a lot, but there is no shortcut for the mini bridge. And I go, wow, you know, that could be one of my keys that can save me that hour out of every eight. I wish they had a shortcut for that. Well, you can click right here. Now watch what happens when I press Control O. It warns me. It's saying it's already in use and it will be removed from the file open if accepted. And I go, I accept that. If I click OK, not only have I removed open from the pull down menu, but I'm also now using it for browsing in the mini bridge. So if a student of mine does Control O, it's going to take them to the mini bridge. Just a thought, just an idea. Let's go back in here. Okay. Let's come back down a little bit more, and let's say that we want a shortcut for place, but we don't want to use a shortcut that already exists. There are over 500 in this program. So we try something like, I don't know, Control, Alt, Shift, F. And it's like, wow, even that one's already taken? Let's try once more. Let's try Control, Alt, Shift, I. You know, you just keep this up all day long and you may never find a key. Let's try one more time. All right, finally found one. Here's my problem with this. Actually, it's not a problem, it's a fact of life. You can eventually find a shortcut. If you keep pushing keys down, eventually something is going to work for you. The hard part is not making a shortcut key that doesn't exist. The hard part is remembering what it was tomorrow and the next day and the next day. So let's say that you do a lot of this. You've got your own shortcut sets. We have a modified set now. If you ever want to go back to the original, all you got to do is click here and go back to the defaults. But you've done a lot of work here. You've got a lot of your own shortcuts. You need to remember these. There is an option called Summarize right here. What Summarize does is it allows you to create a document, a printable document, with all the shortcuts from this program. I've already done it. Let me show it to you. Here it is. These are all the shortcuts in this program and spaces for you to write in ones. So we look at Photoshop as a very aggressive program with shortcuts, and there's over 500, but you don't want to learn 500 shortcut keys to save the hour, because you've also got InDesign and all these other programs. The university studies showed that there are 12 to 14 shortcut keys that we use 
based on our workflow that give us that hour, but they'd be very specific to, say, you or me. They'd be different. So what do you do? You print these out for the programs, and all Creative Suite programs have this. And if you keep going to a certain pull-down command, highlight it. If there's no shortcut for it, figure out one for it. If there is, memorize it. And across the course of time, weeks, months maybe, you will eventually get more efficient. So that's shortcut keys. They are really good and they do not make for long delays. On to the next.